Okay, what's up everybody? This is Tony Kletus and welcome back to JavaScript series brought to you by code to create CTC. In case you uh, missed the previous episodes, I will encourage you to go back to season 1 or uh, and begin with the episode 1 to 25 and there you complete season 1 and you understand everything before you join us in the season 2 here of the object oriented programming. Okay, in any case, if you just um, bumped into this episode right now, you can as well cash up. So it's not still bad. Alright, so let's begin. In this season 2, we are beginning fully with object-oriented programming. The very first question that is asked is, is, is JavaScript object-oriented programming? Okay, yeah. Yes, JavaScript is uh, primarily designed as object-oriented programming language, you understand? Um, now, since we know that JavaScript is object-oriented programming or JavaScript supports object-oriented foundation, then what is this object-oriented in this OPP? You understand? What is this object-oriented? Okay, so now JavaScript as object-oriented programming simply means we are now going to write a block of code or you're writing uh, a code with the concept of an object in mind. In the sense that, uh, let's take for example, I want to write a, a program, you know, so let's um, go into the real world now. I have a head, if I want to list the properties of my head now, I can say I have heads on my head and I have two eyes attached to my head, something like that, then inside my head I have a brain. And I can go about describing the behaviors of my head. I can say, okay, inside my head, the brain there uh, makes me to think, you understand, controls some hormones, you understand. So by this, we are going about explaining or listing out the properties of the head and explaining the behaviors of the head. So that is simply what object-oriented programming is all about. So in the same way, we, in computer programming, we try to explain an object to a computer, you understand? We try to explain a block of code or a set of code or an instruction to a computer with, with some properties and behaviors which we call method. So don't worry about the word method. You get conversant with that later, but just know that methods are the behaviors in this case. All right, so let's continue with our slide. Now, what is object-oriented programming? Okay, so OOP is a concept that in programming, the objects that we are manipulating are more important than the logic needed to uh, manipulate those objects. So, simply what we are trying to say here is that we are writing this block of code logically, you understand? We are trying to bring the concept of an object into the computer for the computer to understand logically. So, I think the second one uh, is talking about the structures of object oriented programming. So, uh, object oriented programming has a complex data structure, and why it has a complex data structure is that it contains properties, which is also refers to as uh, attributes, and methods, which is also refers to as behavior. You can call it any other name. I think we can also call it data, and you can call the behaviors actions. You understand? So, just to how you can understand it. So, it contains attributes, and these attributes can be some set of variables. You understand? And behaviors can be a function. You understand? So, you get to understand that later, but just know that it, it, it deals with the complex data structure. And so, that's that. So, in the third explanation of object oriented programming, contains multiple data types like strings, integers, float. Let's keep on moving. Okay, so let's look for ways by which we can achieve this um, object-oriented programming in JavaScript. But first, before that, let's look at uh, other languages uh, like Java and Python and see how they make up this object-oriented program. In order to write an object-oriented programming in Python, what you need to do is, first of all, you write a class and this class will contain your properties and your methods remember i said properties are the things you can see the data you can see from the object and the methods are the behaviors of this object so once you write them these properties and methods will be inside this class and finally we now create instances of this class the instance of this class Take note are what we refer to as object. Object is an instance of a class. So you're like trying to say, okay, let me copy, um, let me make a copy of the class. And if you are going to make a copy of a class, then you know that it's going to contain a property and also a method of that same class you are copying it from. It's very hard to explain verbally, but you get to understand it later. In terms of JavaScript, the way we create objects in JavaScript is different. Since JavaScript is based on functions and rest, so we are still going to use our normal function to define the class. Then we organize these properties and methods inside this function, you understand, and we finally create instances of this class. 
this is just a structure or should I call it a pseudo code or a flow chart of our object oriented programming all right so first of all let's say we want to make an object and this object is of a person you know and this object is going to contain the data of a person and the behavior of a person so first of all you know that a person will have a name age and address etc but let's stick with the three um data so we have here all the three properties we have here name age and address then you know that the person is going to have behaviors like eating behavior talking behavior and the ability to love you understand so a person can eat can talk and love so if you are trying to make instance of this class now or you are trying to copy this particular class we are having here then you know that we are going to have an object which says john is a person then he can copy the listed properties and methods since john is a person then we will just just try to mimic this in your mind uh, we are just making an instance so you know jane is the name of a person so let's say jane is a person now so then she can copy all the listed properties and methods now you know television is an electronic so television in this case is not a person it's an electronic so television then can't copy all the listed properties and methods and this class called person that we've created so television cannot be an object or cannot be instance of this class called person okay now why do we need object oriented programming we have been talking about object oriented program why do we need this first of all we need object oriented programming for code organization and maintainability so object oriented programming is very good it makes you write an efficient code and the main aim is that you don't need to write block of code you don't, you don't need to repeat yourself if you're a programmer you're repeating a, a set of a particular function or a, a particular variable over and over again then you need to go into object oriented programming you understand it adds clarity and reduces complexity and that's how to know a good programmer that is the quality of a good programmer code uh, reusability you can create lots of instances of this class and use them for, for code modularity that allows inheritance al allows polymorphism allows abstraction allows encapsulation Okay, so don't worry about inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, and encapsulation for now. In due time, you get to understand them more better. When we begin coding, you will see what inheritance is all about, polymorphism is all about, abstraction is all about, and encapsulation is all about. But these are the four pillars of an object-oriented programming foundation. Alright, so different ways of creating objects in JavaScript. We have the normally you should know that we have the um, the standard built-in objects. These are objects that have already been uh, created or built in JavaScript for us to make use of. For example, don't be surprised, the boolean data type, the float data type, the string data types, the integer data type, arrays and all these variables you've been using are already a predefined, predefined, yeah, a predefined or a built-in objects in javascript already we are just trying to make instances of these objects so you see that object oriented programming is very important here yeah? uh, so that's not our business for now our major concern is um how to create our own custom object so that will lead us to the second ways of creating objects in javascript the four ways of creating objects in javascript we have um the constructor pattern the literary notation pattern prototype pattern dynamic prototype pattern which we will treat in this season two so don't worry about that we we'll treat that very well and we'll create our objects and you see how the the, the work in programs all right so um example of a standard built-in object like i said earlier array is a built-in our object you can see the date function there uh, is a built-in object so in order to use them now what you need to do is just to declare a variable via collection is equals to a new array so you have now picked the properties or the methods anything defined inside this array will now go to this collection and anything defined inside this date function will go into this current time all right so now we've we've created instances of these um, built-in objects that's how you see so collection is not an instance of array um current time is not an instance of date and we can come here and make use of them and use the methods in them so for example you see get as get method get sequence are built-in methods or built-in behaviors inside the date function and once you do this you discover that you are going to inherit the methods and you inherit the properties from them which you can also print out and you get a valuable result so that's how it works 
and let me not take you too far we'll, we'll do take this example and you see how it works also all right the syntax of a custom uh, object for example this is a custom object where we will we'll use the function to define our classes with two parameters or two arguments topping and cross type so we see this cross type is equal to cross type um this topping is equal to topping so here we are defining our data or properties and here in this block of code the one i'm i'm rolling this my mouse on now is the behavior so here we try to define the, the behavior with a function so in this case it's going to be called method so remember in javascript when you are defining a function in object-oriented programming, you don't longer call it function, you call it method. Now we create instances of this class called pizza. And how do we create it? We declare a variable called John, which is going to be an instance or object now. The new operator would automatically make it to inherit the pizza what now the pizza class. So and we just input our two parameter there, the values of our two parameter, pesto and tin, which is going which will go into this. And so we, you have it there, you can call your behavior or method. So you see, we are calling this. So as I say, John take order. So John take order will just take this. So don't worry, you will learn this very well. I just want to uh, make sure I treat this slide to just give you an introduction to object oriented programming. All right, so I think that was the end of this tutorial. In our next episode, I promise you it's going to be a lot more fun because we are going to the coding aspect where we are going to look. Are the various ways we create objects in JavaScript. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you really like something from here, click on the like button below and make sure you subscribe.